everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Spotted at some Target. It's really cool. All these Shang-Chi uh, movie figures are really cool. I want them all. So I broke a fake figure from an old Buffy line that's really fragile. The hip, so I glued it together. So it looks okay here. And here are the arms with it. The neck also broke, so I had to glue it in place too. So, with this new Big Bang Baby figure I got, this mask needs to go on this head, but it won't fit. So, yeah. A few moments later. And it looks like it works. So, I broke this Nico figure when I first got it, and the arm was broken. But I took the spare arm that's supposed to be in that, that, and popped this arm off and put it on this side. Uh, it's actually supposed to be a left-handed arm, but I twisted. Look, this is my Black Series Vader. My Black Series Vader has two right hands. How am I supposed to force choke somebody with two right hands? Come on now. And it couldn't have been two left hands? A little quick trip to Walmart and I found me a Death Dealer. The figure I was wanting the most from the Shang-Chi wave. Got in my Pyramids Mars Doctor Who set. Look at this. Look at the sirens. It's a pretty cool set. Like, like I liked it. Like, I like their packaging pretty much for most of these figures. They're pretty cool. Not on much to them, but they're very basic. I mean, they're they're kind of basic. The Doctor Who figures are basic. I think they're five inch. Even though they always remind me of three and three quarter inch, but I think they're technically five inch. But they probably go with your three and th three quarter inch. And here it is open. So you get the display thing, and then there's the box, and there's Super Destroyer and his mummies. So this is a really cool set, but like, here's you some photos. We got this Iron Man 2020 with all this stuff. Let's see how it goes. So I was having problems and this thing wouldn't stand up at all. Well, fuck me. It does it the one time I put camera on. Now, if this isn't the best biker game, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's the best biker game. Ooh, ooh, what? What? What's that? What? It's like spotting a dinosaur. The first time I've ever seen an amber collection in a store. And it's Mr. Sexy. I think I'll take one of those. Yes, yes. Found this at my local, uh, one of my local, like, antique swap type stores. Savage Dragon. We think it's a Ninja Turtle. Got these old school Dreadnoughts weapons in from TGC Customs on Etsy. And I need to paint them up and then see who they'll be fitted with in my Dreadnoughts. Or maybe just put them on the bikes for decoration. Finally painting some of my G.I. Joe weapons. I always say about this stuff I'm going to do it, but I hardly ever do it. But I like it. And some glasses. Just adding some stuff. I finished my Black Knight. I was making like a early 90s, late 80s jacket. Avengers Black Knight. The Black Knight's my favorite 
adventure. So, I'm gonna be doing several of these since the figure came up with a couple of heads. So, it's really cool. Turned out really cool. I like it. When Earth must bleed, Asgard sends in the Blood Ragers. This was a team that I had as a kid with toys, and I just had the idea when I had an extra Thor and some like Viking type wrestlers, so I was going to make the squad again. <laughs> I just thought it would be cool to do. It's fun. A lot of fun. Which one I, you want, Mark? I want the sun and the sun and the sun. And I, I don't think I'd have number four perfect drive. I think I got that for someone. But I need it. But then also, see, there's honey dukes. And then there's a basilisk down here. And I just need all of them, but I'm definitely getting Hermione when she takes the... I already have one. Are they two different ones? No, it's the same one. Every time I find a G.I. Joe, it's one I already have. 